Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of ReaperCast. It's been quite a long time since I last did a ReaperCast video, and that's simply because there wasn't really much news actually coming out with any particular new sets. I mean, for this time being, we've just been doing a bunch of deck profiles and introducing a lot of decks into the channel, which, although it's been really fun, I did want a change of pace, so let's just quickly divert from that and talk about some new cards that is coming out in Battle of Chaos. Now the cards we're going to be focusing on today will be the Ghost Trick cards. I actually think that's very appropriate given that we are currently getting close to October, which is pretty much the Halloween season. So let's just see what these cards are all about. But before that, I would like to remind you guys to drop a like, share, comment, and consider subscribing if you enjoyed this kind of video. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification as well, as that is definitely going to be really great in notifying you when the newest video comes out. However, with that being said, let's begin. So the first card we have here is called Ghost Trick Siren, a level 4 Dark Fairy effect monster with 800 attack and 1500 defense. So at long last we finally have a Siren, looks really cool, I like the artwork, definitely still true to the Ghost Trick themed artwork, but definitely unique enough that sets itself apart from all of the other Ghost Trick monsters already out there. Now this card can't be normal summon unless you control a ghost trick monster, but that's okay. First effect, if this card is normal summoned or flip face up, send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Then if there was a ghost trick card among them, you can apply one of these effects. You can either add one ghost trick spell trap from your deck to your hand, or you could change one effect monster your opponent controls to face down defense position. Now that's not necessarily too bad, it's the idea of being able to control things, but at the same time also allowing you to add specific cards, in this case a ghost trick spell or trap. If anything, I'm a bit surprised that why it took so long for this particular card to actually come out. A spell trap searcher is quite common for many decks, so it's good to see that Ghost Tricks finally have one, but even so it does seem a little too late. However, given whether or not you can pull this off or not, it does seem possible given that the majority of the deck will be filled up with Ghost Trick cards, so the top two cards you send to the graveyard would most likely be Ghost Trick monsters, or rather Ghost Trick cards in general. Now as for the second effect, once per turn you can change this card to face down defense position. That's pretty normal coming from a ghost trick card. Overall, this is decent, it's not necessarily the most amazing. However, it is something that, although it is much needed, it did come out a little too late. Now moving on here, we have a link monster. This is definitely going to be very interesting because this will be the very first link monster for ghost tricks. We have here ghost trick festival. A Link 1 Dark Spell cast the Link Effect monster of zero attack. The Link markers simply point to the bottom and requires one non-Link Ghost Trick monster, which is fine because your entire deck is pretty much filled with Ghost Trick monsters anyway. You can only use a face down Ghost Trick monster you control as material to Link summon this card. That's actually fantastic, I mean most of your cards are going to be set anyway, so all you have to do is set that card face down and link it away. It doesn't really harm you in any way. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. First effect, your ghost trick monsters can attack directly while there is a ghost trick card in your field zone. That's pretty good. I mean, ghost tricks in general will be playing most of their field spells, so to actually have this effect, definitely fantastic. You don't have to focus on any other cards out there. As for the second effect, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can tribute this card, special summon one ghost trick monster from your deck in face down defense position, allowing you to have quite a decent amount of control. So I do like this. It reminds me of Link Karibo, but I think it might be better because it will get you the specific ghost trick card you need. I'm also interested in the fact that this is a festival card, meaning it's not a specific monster card. The link actually represents the entirety of the ghost tricks, so I do like that and as you can see by the artwork, it definitely does play off that way. However, next up we have here Ghost Trick Shot, a normal spell card support. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn each. First effect, special summon one ghost trick monster from your hand or graveyard, then you can change one face down ghost trick monster you control to face up attack position. 
I like that, it is only a normal spell card so it's not particularly the most amazing there, but even so I do definitely like that uh, this particular effect gives you a bit of control in that standpoint. Second effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard then target one ghost trick XC's monster you control, attach one ghost trick card from your graveyard to it as material. Not bad, not the most amazing, it kind of forces you, well it doesn't really force you but uh, it's like playing Ghost Trick Angel, I believe it's called. And basically the way that card works is you get an auto win if you have a certain amount of materials. So I believe this card is designed to speed up that process, but it's not so quick to the point where you could actually just win the game. Though it would be pretty fun to be able to pull off that particular win condition. Now as for the final card, we have here Ghost Trick or Trait. Very nice naming there. A normal trap card and you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. If you control a ghost trick link monster or field spell, target one face up monster your opponent controls. Your opponent can pay 2000 life points to make this effect become set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. Otherwise this turn that target cannot attack, its effects are negated, also it is changed to face down defense position during the end phase. That's a very interesting card, I'm very surprised to see an effect that allows your opponent to stop it or at least change the effects and leave them to pay 2000, although it would benefit you either way because think about it like this, paying 2000 is like the treat part, it's like you're paying to give your opponent something, otherwise the trick part is to have effects negated and to prevent an attack definitely fantastic there it's really good in terms of effects that correlate to the actual naming of the card but with that being said this particular card is a bit lackluster it doesn't seem like it's overly amazing but given that this is a normal trap card if you did want to accelerate it you could play trap trick to speed this card up and that would be fantastic there. And not to mention, depleting your opponent's life by 2000 is not the worst thing ever, because once you bring out your Link Monster, allowing you to attack directly, you're pretty much attacking your opponent with really weak monsters, so to take off 2000 just off this card alone, well, potentially that is, it is definitely quite well worth it, so it makes it quite interesting there. However, with that being said, definitely let me know what you guys actually think about all of these cards. Do you think this was a bit too late? I think that's definitely my own opinion here. I think that these cards have definitely come up way too late here. When did Shadow Spectres even come out, the original Ghost Trick set? I mean, that would have been maybe back in 2013 or 14. So definitely very long ago, it's a bit late now. I wish it came out maybe even three or four years ago. That would have been maybe okay. But I guess during that time, links were just being introduced. But I still think that would have been appropriate for that time. However, with that being said, do leave your comments down below. I really would like to hear what you actually think. But with that being said, thanks for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.